Let's define a type alias using t int reference using r constant t. What is the type of r? Let's find out std see out the type of r we expect constant int reference but let's see the result talk play fun get type name r std and there now let's build and run build run we expect the type of r constant integral reference but result is surprisingly integer reference constant is removed the type of r is constant integer reference but integer reference this concept plays a very important role in template metaprogramming for example we define template type name t using add constant t const t we defined add constant type alias like this std c out we are using this type alias talk play fun get type name add constant t int std and there we copy once again add constant reference t this is r value reference now build and run out please note that in this line we are calling this add constant this macro in this case if t is not reference then constant is added successfully when t is r value reference this constant is simply ignored this concept plays very important role in template metaprogramming hello everyone today is 5th of november 2018 this is 18th video about template metaprogramming in this session, we will learn how to add constant needs to C++ type expression and how to select type conditionally. Prerequisite of this video is template metaprogramming 17, how to test constant needs of C++ expression. Please click this link and download source code of our previous video by clicking this link. In this zip file, this zip file includes a file name called talk play fun type name h we will use this file in this session we can create our custom type function that add constant needs template type name t struct st add constant using type const t and we make specialization in case of reference then we can add specialization another specialization this is for r value reference so this is primary template this is specialization for l value reference this is specialization for r value reference with this we can change like this type name st add const t type we can now run okay constant is added perfectly from integer we added constant for reference r value reference constant is added we can add one more line of code this is for l value reference r value reference we build again run constant needs is added successfully for both l value reference and r value reference case we can implement this way, but C++ standard is not defined like this way. To help you understand the standard library, I will create a type function called conditional template bool type name true type type name f type f type is for first case struct sd conditional using type. This is primary template and we regard full as false then we select this f type f type is false type f type then we specialize it for true case we specialize it like this true true type 
false type. This is specialization. In this case, we select true type. Then here, we create type alias template full test type name t type type name f type. This is false type using conditional type name as the conditional test t type f type type. So in standard library, there is type function called conditional. It selects if this test is boolean value is true, then true type is selected. If test is false, then false type is selected. Using this, we can create another template type name ref type. We regard this ref type as reference type. Then using add constant to ref. Conditional. The first is Boolean expression. We are testing if ref type is L value or R value. The first argument to this conditional should be Boolean value SD. ST, STD is L value reference. This is standard template library type function type. It returns Boolean value if ref type is L value reference. This is true condition. First, we remove reference t we remove reference from this type then we add constant t then we add constant t here then we add l value again add l value reference like this we first remove reference then add constant then we add l value reference again in this case ref type is l value then this code will be executed if ref type is not l value then this is r value then we have to add like this this is for add const to reference type now here we can modify it like this we use this conditional again conditional we first have to test if t is reference type is reference. If t is reference, then we call this add const ref t. If t is not reference, then we use std add const. Okay, so this we use conditional twice. Once to test if t is reference or not, then in reference, if it is reference, then we are testing once again for R value reference and L value reference. Then using this type function, we define this is our custom type function. Then it works. Now fill now clear. We have long list of error messages. We, we have to use this conditional like this. Now let's try again. Okay. Okay, it works as expected. It works successfully. This way we can add constant needs to type expression. I will copy this routine, then add here. I pasted it and I will change it. I will change it to helper. And it should be STD for standard library. It also should be STD. You are using standard library. Then here. I will change it helper to. Then we define a macro. Define talk play fun add type const type name talk play fun hide this name is add const helper then type so now we are going to use this function, this, this macro, copy, we can just leave it here. Since this is macro, we have to provide parentheses like this, like this. Now let's build, I made a typo. Okay, it works as expected. So all these code are for to help you understand. Now using this add type constant macro, we can add constant needs to any C++ type expression. In next session, we will learn how to add reference to C++ type expression. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.